Did you know this series is created and directed by Guy Ritchie is a spin-off of his own 2018 film with the same name. And the latest surprising part is that three years after the release of the film, there was a lawsuit recently filed against Ritchie by an actor claiming he copied the characters, characterizations and particular points in the plot from him. Keeping all this aside, I believe Ritchie is a talented guy. Let's see how the series turned out. Plot Summary this series is about Eddie Halstead getting his father's large estate, but he soon finds out that it sits on the top of notorious Weed Empire. Will this honest soldier be able to learn everything he needs to know about British crime and run the whole operation? Hey, hi. Don't forget to subscribe to next episode for weekly TV series and OTT movie reviews. The strongest points of this series. Guy Ritchie and his team are specialized in creating varied characters and even in this series, they do not disappoint. New characters get introduced in every episode with stylish attire and different accents and as usual, the brilliance of the cinematography and the background music quality and the rich color grading that we enjoyed in the movie The Gentleman are assetting and visually appearing in the series too. What could have been better? This is where I was frustrated. The potential for a gripping storyline is there, but unfortunately it falls short in execution. As this series is spin-off of an already successful movie, which by the way, I loved every minute of it. The story development and the rating of this series from the second episode were drastically appalling. Usually I don't compare, but this is an exception because the characters in this movie had grace and grandeur, whereas the varied characters in this series had only grandeur. And the character arc is absurdly inconsistent. In some sequences, they behave like intellectual strategists. In others, they are doing something short-sighted. That's where the great drama and twists fall flat. Of all the actors in this series, Giancarlo Esposito, also known as Gus Fring from The Breaking Bad, as an actor of this caliber, was totally underutilized. Can you binge watch this series? It starts off well to be honest, but after the amazing first episode and the intriguing last 6th and 7th episodes, I didn't quite enjoy this series. It was slow paced and at times boring and unintelligent. Don't confuse my slow pace with slow burner because it is not. If you have nothing on your playlist this weekend, you can give this series a try without expecting much in terms of excitement. It might get renewed for a second season, but I am least excited after the disappointing final episode and people comparing it with Breaking Bad, please don't. Shows like Sopranos, Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul had divinely blessed rating. For a better understanding of how each episode turned out, I have made a line chart and rated this series episode wise. Here is it. This week's recommendation would be The Sun, starring P.S. Brosnan, which offers a gripping portrayal of the rise and fall of the Texas family in the oil industry. This series is filled with intense drama, complex characters and unexpected twists that will keep you hooked from start to finish. Give it a watch if you are looking for the captivating and well-crafted story. For now, have a great weekend and keep binging. I'll see you in the next video with another review. Peace.